It takes an average of three to five years to build a fully custom superyacht. First of all, we will start at Fateship's shipyard. This particular yacht is called Lonian Yacht, and overall length is 87 meters. It was built in 2018 and is designed for the owner and 12 guests. The total number of crew members is 27. This Dutch company designs and constructs high-end luxury yachts and is one of the leading builders of custom superyachts. The length of these luxury yachts varies between 50 and 100 meters. This shipyard can usually produce from four to five ships per year. In total, Fade Ship has five factories, with four dedicated to building superyachts themselves. As you can see in this sped-up video, the yachts fold up like a giant Lego. The main helpers in the construction of the yachts are the huge cranes and, of course, the skilled factory workers. Robotics is not as widely used in luxury yachts as it is, for example, in car factories. Most of the work is done manually, which guarantees the highest possible quality of the finished yacht. Now the largely completed yacht is being moved to the next site. In the Netherlands, a system of water canals is used for the transport. At this point almost the completed boat is painted, both externally and all the interior spaces. Painting in the shipyard takes several weeks and first the whole yacht is prepared for the paint for many days. This is followed by the installation of other elements of the yacht such as electronics and other important functional elements. Although you can see this production process is relatively quick, believe me, everything takes many months and the total production of this particular super yacht took for years. The production hall is kept dry during production and only after completion is filled with seawater. The shipyard is, of course, at the edge of the sea in the northern Netherlands, and immediately from the dock the yacht can take to the seas and the world's oceans. Usually, the yacht is first tested and only after extensive testing is it delivered to its future owner, who has paid for the entire construction in advance. And the average price is around hundreds of millions of dollars or euros. Another shipbuilding company that I will show you production from start to finish is the Lursen Company. It is a German shipyard with headquarters in Bremen Vegsack and shipbuilding facilities in Lemwerde, Bern and Bremen Fahlobendorf. It focuses on the production of luxury giant yachts and naval ships. Right now you are watching the production process of a 74-meter luxury custom-built superyacht called Aurora. It was built in 2017 and the price of such a yacht is around $130 million. Now comes the stage of painting the whole yacht. This demanding process takes many weeks and often months. The whole boat has to be wrapped beforehand. It's funny to watch a luxury Lursen superyacht worth hundreds of millions being transported around the shipyard by an old tractor. With rich mahogany and stainless steel exterior furnishings, she reflects the romance of luxury travel on transatlantic liners. Each deck was carefully planned to include family spaces. Classic features combined with innovative details such as a large port light in the main staircase and custom, state-of-the-art lighting across each deck give her authentic charm. Her interior is based on the Art Deco style of the 1920s, drawing inspiration from influential artists and designers of that era. Naval Vessels Lursen is the military division of Lursen and is building small to medium-sized naval vessels mainly for exporting.
Lursen has an app offering a gallery of pictures for most of their luxury yachts along with the length measurements. This luxury superyacht was built in a shipyard off the coast of southern Germany and will now move to its new owner after testing. Lursen delivers the world's longest yacht, called Azom, at 180 meters. She not only sets a record for length and speed exceeding 30 knots, but also for her building time of less than three years. You will see footage of the production of this superyacht later in this video. Another ship manufacturer is the French company Chantius Amel. It is based in the port of La Rochelle and focuses on sailboats. Amel Shipyard has produced a variety of sloops for blue water cruising and for day sailing. For many years, Chantius Amel was known for its practice of only producing a single model at a time. Since around 2010, the company has been producing two models at a time, currently the ML50 and ML60. Laminators, carpenters, varnishers, electricians, plumbers, mechanics, riggers, deck fitters, upholsterers. More than 30 tradesmen work together in the design and construction of sailing boats. In a permanent search for irreproachable finishes, the selection of materials is the subject of all attention with priority given to French know-how. The Amel yacht spirit is behind every stage in the construction process, from the choice of materials to internal finish, along with the service provided to Amel yachts customers around the world. Fully designed and manufactured in La Rochelle, each unit is delivered by an Amel yachts technician, with one week to get to grips with the yacht. Owners can familiarize themselves with their new yacht and begin to appreciate the true pleasure of effortless, safe and comfortable sailing. Princess Yachts Limited is a British motor yacht manufacturer based in Plymouth, England. However, these yachts are not in the category of super luxury yachts. But this is a true mega luxury super yacht. This is the Lursen Blue Motor Yacht. Completed in 2022, it is the fifth largest yacht in the world with a length of 160 meters. Her power comes from four diesel electric engines. Blue Yacht is currently sailing under the Cayman Islands flag, the second most popular flag state for superyachts with a total of 1,373 yachts registered. In terms of features, the yacht has a pair of helicopter landing sites, a large helideck at the bow, and a smaller helipad aft. Each of the four upper decks features a large alfresco entertaining area, and there is a swimming platform connected to a beach club, plus forward stateroom balconies on either side. Blue is the fifth longest yacht in the world. And now the production process of Bavaria yachts begins, also in Germany. Approximately 700 employees work in the Bavarian shipyard. This company experienced a major crisis in 2018 and faced insolvency. But now everything is in order and the production of yachts can continue. Bavaria is one of the largest and most modern shipyards in the world for sailing yachts, motorboats and cruising catamarans. The yachts from Bavaria have extremely fast and very seaworthy hulls and are known for their modern elegant sporty design. Once the mold has left the spray room, the laminating of the hull can begin. The components already made in the joinery are now fitted directly into the yard using a crane. Doors not opening when sailing, or floorboards creaking on the ocean. Such things just do not happen. From the tree trunk to the finished cabin, all of the wooden elements and the yachts are manufactured directly in the yacht's own joinery by its woodwork specialists. And when it comes to processing and finishing the wooden parts for a yacht, the yard can look back on more than 35 years of skilled craftsmanship in this area. 
At the Bavaria, they are set on a special framing system that is fitted to the floor section, which represents a real increase in quality of yard construction today, as it also prevents annoying creaking of the floorboards. The hull and deck windows are then installed in the yacht. Extreme care has to be taken to ensure that the windows are completely glued to the deck across complete surface. As soon as the engineers, shipbuilders, and quality control team are satisfied with every single aspect, the new Bavaria yacht is prepared for transports to the customer or dealer. Yacht is only ready when a green flag is fluttering on the stern of the new yacht at the end of the production line. This means that the quality control team have finished their work and not found fault with any aspect of the new boat. If the controllers do find a flaw or defect, this is marked and immediately recorded in a comprehensive checklist.